Hello, John Piazek. Let's do uh, let's do some Maryland Million previews. Could be doing a little series over the next several weeks. You and me talking about some horses that are pointing at Maryland Million. That's coming up at Laurel Park, October twenty second. Classic here. Let's start off our little series talking about the Maryland Million Classic. John, I I went back and looked, and, and it looks like all of the horses that ran in last year's classic are currently in training that of course doesn't mean they're all going to come to the classic for any number of reasons but they all appear to be in training as does the 2020 champion uh, monday morning qb who is now also back in action i know you wanted to talk particularly about ain't the beer colt Yes, who, who ironically came in last in last year's Maryland Maryland Classic. However, this year he's a much improved horse. He's a son of Freedom Child, uh, trained by Kenny Cox and owned by Matt Spencer, Kelly Joe Cox, and Bonicelli Racing. He shows some promise at two, too. He actually won the first two year old race of 2020 in Maryland, which was uh, laid for a variety of bureaucratic reasons, and did his season for the second place finish in the Howard County Stakes. Had been kind of in, in up and down form since then, but in his last two starts, he's really put his best foot forward. On July 29th at Laurel, he won a second level allowance optional claiming race by one and three quarter lengths. Beat a few decent horses that day. Got a good trip stalking the pace under Victor Carrasco and earned a career top figure on the Echo Base scale of 101. Next time out at Timonium on September 5th, he tasted a very good now to the three other than field, which included a horse such as Zabba Cadaver, who was coming off a win over 2020 Maryland Maryland Classic Champion Monday Morning QB, plus Tappan Cat, who was second in last year's edition. He beat those two at, at Delaware Park on August 24th. Also in that race was the poser who came in third in last year's classic, and an eat to be cold, got the edge over all of them. He stalked the pace, got up to win by a neck and another lifetime top echo base figure of 102. There's a chance we could see him in Open Stakes Company in his next start with an eye toward the October 22nd Classic. I think he's getting better at the very time. You know he likes the track and looms as a serious threat in this year's Classic. All right, ain't the beer cold for Kenny Cox. Angel Cruz wrote him last time, John, and, and uh, it was kind of an emotional scene after they got the win in the three other than at Timonium, which both wrapped up the uh, riding title at Timonium for Cruz, which he was excited about, and also kind of reunited Cruz with Eat the Beer Cold, a horse he had ridden early in his career, and Kenny Cox told me that uh, he had done a lot of work with him early in his career, so happy to get back on him and pilot him to victory against, as you said, a salty field. Absolutely. And 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 Angel Cruz had a great Timonium season, so it was great to have Interview Cole kind of be a cap to that as, as it was one of the last races of the Timonium meet. And you have to figure that Cruz is going to keep the mount out at the fall. And it wouldn't be, be a surprise at all to see him in a Maryland Maryland Classic winner. So Right. That's Ain't the Beer Cold, Maryland Million Classic. First of our preview series. We'll be coming back to you every week with more previews as we look towards the October 22nd Maryland Million at Laurel Park.